right. Welcome back to season four on the Hall Pass podcast. Thank you to the Admission Masters for sponsoring us uh, with our final episode here, season four, episode 10. And we wanted to organize a list of the intangibles or what I'd like to say beyond the application uh, in terms of what you aren't looking at or what you are not thinking about um, and maybe focusing on miscellaneous things that students and parents do not necessarily think about when they think about their high school journey. The other thing that I think a lot of um, students and parents don't talk about enough is relationship building. And I think relationship building when it comes to friends, networking um, with, you know, people, I don't think students know what it means to network. I want to just start with family and just spending time with family, which is something that a lot of my students and parents don't do a lot. Parents, I want to talk to you and and those parents who are like, what did you get at school today? Or why did you get a B? Or when you center your conversations around students' failures and not their opportunities to grow, when you center their conversations around their stress levels or their academics or things that they're already stressed about, they're going to not want to talk to you <laughs> eventually, it, it, right? It'll, yeah. it'll, it'll be like a recoiling. They'll recoil. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You have to make those conversations either A, enjoyable, or B, it has to be, they have to want to talk to you about things that they want to talk to you about. And when I see those relationships built for, with my students and parents, and they're nurtured in a very... Every parent is different, but I think you shouldn't give up that opportunity to have conversations with your kids. And same thing with students and parents, I mean, students, my friends my students as well you need to put that same effort in there right like you you if if your parents are going out there to put in an effort i think um so the next one that i want to talk about is exercise healthy living healthy eating mindfulness there's so many different types of things to keep yourself healthy mentally emotionally physically etc what you put into your body makes a difference in the way that you think, how alert you are, how awake you are, um, how engaged you are. Uh, it's all going to make a difference in that. So help, being healthy, being physically healthy is going to make an influence in the way that you're emotional, mental, you know, all of that health is. So just be just be healthy. I think that we need to focus on our health a little bit. I more think there's sometimes. a direct correlation to the more overweight you are, the more the less uh, clarity you have in mm. thought and less less mental acuity you maintain in terms of uh, the longevity. So like the SAT, for example, is a four hour test. Yeah. And I've been teaching that for. Um, and then I want to talk about um, travel uh, in terms of, well, let's talk about travel a little bit. So I think travel in a lot of ways, people see it as like a luxurious, a luxury, right? Like when you travel, you get on airplanes, you spend a lot of money, you go on vacations, but travel can also be something that's very um, minimal, right? It could be traveling to your local farmer's market. It could be traveling to... Um, um, a cultural center. It could be traveling to a museum. Like a lot of, you know, museums are either really cheap or, or they're free or, um, you know, having cultural experiences in different ways. So I think basically travel, when I say travel, I mean like get out of your comfort zone a little bit and, and learn things, explore things, uh, experience things beyond what you're doing just in your normal day-to-day -day routine. So then I have a question to pose on the college app. Yes, point Jay. Of view. You ready? Okay. Some of the top three colleges, let's say Stanford, for example, have a supplemental essay, essay that asks, what did you do the past two summers? Mm -hmm. And let's say you come from a middle class, upper class, social, you know, socially privileged background and you went to Cabo. Cabo? Cabo. Cabo. Sorry. <laughs> Cabo. Cabo. Right. Or you went to what's another super I've Hawaii. Seen, Hawaii. Right. Do you put that down on the application? Is that a pro or con to you guys? Because you guys, we talked about last week's episode about adversity or the previous episode mm -hmm. about adversity score. Essentially, the more socioeconomically depressed you are, the higher they're going to value your application and accomplishments. Um, all right. So I hope this was helpful for all of you who wanted to kind of think about what other things you should consider beyond just the college application. And I feel like if you think about these things, your college application and everything else will come very naturally. Um, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on your podcast app or on your new web on our new website, um, www.thehallpasspodcast.com. I'll also link that YouTube video that Richard was talking about um, just so that you guys can go watch that video if you want to. Um, if you missed any of our episodes, you can also find it on iTunes or our website. 
website. We want to thank our admission. Uh, we want to thank our sponsors, the Admission Masters, again uh, for any of our high school students or parents who need guidance um, and want help and things like this. Uh, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, thank you again for tuning in on our final episode of this season. We have been so thrilled to bring you new content and special guests this season. We are excited to tell you that we will be starting our season five before we get into the busy season this year. So stay tuned. Uh, again, we would love for you to spend send us an email or or um, general topics or questions that you might want us to cover in our podcast at the hall pass podcast at gmail.com all right until next time we'll see you guys soon bye, bye. 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 bye.